Greetings, YouTube. Today's story comes from Pathios.com. A county judge in Kentucky refuses to marry atheists. In an egregious violation of the U.S. Constitution, Trigg County Judge Hollis Alexander refused to marry a couple, um, one second, uh, refused to marry a couple because they are both non-religious and they didn't want any mention of God in their secular marriage ceremony. When Heath went to file, um, or actually, sorry, Mary, uh, Mandy Heath and her fiance, her fiance, when Heath went to file necessary paperwork at the local courthouse on the day before their wedding, Judge Alexander explained that he would not perform the legal ceremony because of his sincerely held religious beliefs. Funny how we, those of us on the progressive side of things, said that was going to come back and bite us all in the ass. What a shock. Um, in attempting to justify why he was refusing to perform his legal duty and honor the request for a simple secular wedding, Judge Alexander declared, I will be unable to perform your wedding ceremony. I include God in my, in, in my ceremonies and won't uh, do one without. Well, here's the thing. The U.S. government is not allowed to endorse a religion. First Amendment. First one, and you are a sitting judge, a representative of the United States government, which means you don't get to endorse a religion while doing your job. And part of your job is to conduct wedding ceremonies. So he's in violation of the Constitution. I hope they sue his ass. I hope he loses his, his position on the bench. I hope they disbar him, because he's a crappy lawyer, as well as a crappy judge, and a bigot. Yay! Now, there are ways around this, even though this judge should be kicked off the bench, and categorically. Um, I've been married twice, and in both cases, I was married by a justice of the peace. And not just a random justice of the peace, I had friends become JPs for my ceremony. And in both cases, it was because I couldn't figure out where to fit these people in my marital party. I wanted them involved in the wedding, but I didn't know where to put them. So I'm like, you're going to be the JP. And they got their JP license, and they became a JP, and they conducted the ceremonies. The first one was my friend Tom. He wore a kilt. Um, a great kilt, in fact. Uh, the second one was our friend Dorinda, who has an MFA in poetry. She was very well spoken. Um, I once asked her, What do you do with an MFA in poetry? And she said, You teach other people like, how to get their MFAs. I said, Awesome. Um, so, this judge should again be kicked off the bench. And frankly, I think he should be disbarred because you're failing miserably at understanding the law, which is kind of the job of a lawyer and a judge to understand the law. And and to adjudicate it. And if you don't know what the First Amendment says and how it applies to U.S., US um, you're a failure. And you should be tossed aside in favor of someone that does understand the First Amendment and is willing to do their job. Now, if your sincerely held belief is that you don't want to hang out with atheists when you're not on the job, go for it. And if your sincerely held belief says that you can't marry atheists, then, then go find a new job. Become a theistic barber who and 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 uh, who will then get sued for failing uh, for refusing to give haircuts to uh, atheists. But at least you won't be on the bench representing the U.S. government. Um, so let's have less of this in America. Let's have less theistic bigotry towards religious, or in this case, non-religious minorities. We know the Christians are in charge. They've been in charge forever. They're going to be in charge forever in America. There is never going to be a point where they are not the largest percentage of theists. Um, I am a theist, but I am in the vast minority compared to Christians. Uh, Christians are everywhere in America. You, you can't swing a Swing a Bible without hitting one in America. Um, but we need one that at least understand the First Amendment right not only protects their religious belief, 
but it protects everyone's religious belief. And the healthiest thing you can have for your religious belief, or my religious belief, is a strong separation of church and state. That's the best possible circumstance that you can have to ensure that your religious freedoms will never be trampled upon. And that means making sure that the government does not endorse any religion. Isn't that hard, folks? Taking the first 